Hey Timu, today I'll write a four-character sentence from Thousand Character Classic, Qian Zi Wen. I'll be writing with a pen and a brush and explain along the way. Zhi. It means no. Guo. Means fault. B. Means must. Gai. Means correct. Altogether, it means if you know your fault, you must correct it. This looks pretty neat, as these four simple characters form one sentence. But it's an ancient way of saying this. Today, people will express it differently as the following: Zhi. Dao. Le. Guo. Cuo. Jiu. Bi. Xu. Gai. Zhong. Zhi. Dao. Le. Guo. Cuo. Jiu. Bi. Xu. Gai. Zhong. As you can see, there are some correspondence between the ancient way of saying this and the modern way of saying this. Zhi means 知道 Guo corresponds to 过错 B corresponds to 必须改 Is the same as 改正 So you see, we basically pick one character from each word and then combine them together, and that form one sentence in an ancient way. I'd say the daily Chinese dialogue today are always much longer than in the old days. Like here, they use four characters to say one sentence, but now we use ten characters. But in some formal settings, like when you do public speaking or you want to show it off to your friends by citing the classics, you can just say 知过必改 and most people will still understand what it means. Okay, that's for today. I know my videos sometimes seem pretty random. One day is Chinese handwriting, another day is talking about how to use inkstone. Sorry for jumping around on these topics here. I guess I just want to share what I think is beautiful, fun, or valuable to me related to Chinese culture, language, calligraphy, etc. Hope you enjoy it and can have this journey along with me.